name's Eric Paulson. I've been training in martial arts since 1974. What I've been here, here for Chris Mal Malgeri School here. Uh, it's Ma Martial Arts Unlimited, and Chris Chris Malgeri's been a, uh, a longtime student for 12 to 15 years. I've known him. He's, we started under Guru Dan, and then he came out and trained with uh, my coach, Yuri Nakamura, in Shuto. And uh, Yuri didn't want to really teach a lot of guys, so I ended up kind of taking over. Do you feel as if you've um, had a, uh, a part in shaping the industry? 100% because I've traveled all over the world. During the time I was fighting, I also traveled as my job, and I've done seminars all over the United States, all over all over Europe, and I've, I've got guys, high-level guys, all over the place now that all have belts, that are belted in, in jiu-jitsu. Most, most of them have black belts now. Uh, also, they have belts in different organizations they fight. I have world champions all over the place that have fought at all different events. And um, yeah, I def definitely did. And, I, and even to this day, I'll, I'll watch guys do stuff, fighting-wise or submission-wise. And I, I do a lot of things that are a little different than other people. And uh, I could definitely see the influence. So when the other fighters out there or people in, the, uh, in that community think of you, what do they think of it, you as a fighter? Um, a lot of them don't really know me as fighters because the new guys today, they don't know some of the older guys. So they just, they know some of the coaches, but they don't, they weren't really big fans of, of uh, some of the older stuff. Which is fine, the UFC is really promoted to the different levels, so you know, a lot of the guys know them. And that's fine, I would much rather be known as a resource than, uh, than oh, he's the, the top fighter in the world. Who was the fighter in Japan that you took the title from? Uh, I, I fought in uh, Shuto, and in 96 I took the title from Kenji Kawaguchi. He was a long-time six-year six running champion, and uh, I took his belt. Uh, I fought him twice, and the first time I fought him, I arm-locked him. And the second time I fought him, I reverse toe hold him and ripped his knee. He was dodging me for a year and a half. And he said, oh, Eric, so he's a professional martial artist. I've got a real job. And I go, actually, I'm a bartender that's fighting. You know, I've got to have it. I can't live off of the fight income. The, the fight income back then was, was slim and none and slim left town. So it was very, very insubstantial, unsubstantial for the amount of work that you did. Uh, I'm originally from Minnesota. I trained in judo in 1974. I was in fourth grade. My mom started me out. I was playing all these different sports, and she said, would you like to do judo? And I said, I'll try it. Uh, I don't really need another sport, but I'll try it. And I liked it. And uh, from then on, I was hooked. And uh, in sixth grade, I started uh, full contact point karate mix. And um, it's when full contact karate just started coming out. So uh, right after that, I got into boxing because it actually correlated very well with the uh, full contact part of it. And uh, I trained in Minnesota until right after high school, which was 1984, I graduated. And when I graduated, uh, a year and a half later, I moved to California. I uh, moved to Palm Springs and I trained and continued my uh, Taekwondo uh, and boxing. I boxed at the Co Coachella Boxing Club out there. And uh, also uh, studied Taekwondo under a couple other people out there. Got my black belt in Taekwondo left because uh, I wanted to get into more physical stuff. Met Dan and Asano. Actually, I trained with Rick Fay in Minnesota at, uh, in, started with 1982. And so I was with him for about two years and then I left, moved to California and uh, met up with Tim Tackett and started training in his garage. And everything in his garage was based on combat. Basically more than anything, wasn't anything that had to do with sport. It was to research and develop something that worked that, as Tackett put it, could knock uh, someone's dick in the dirt when you had a problem. So everything was very ballistic, very combative, and uh, had no sport to it. Um, I was competing my whole life. I was a gymnast. So what I wanted to do is uh, continue and compete. So uh, I was doing all this stuff, and then in 1980, Five, I started training uh, in Los Angeles. I'm sorry, 1987, I started training in Los Angeles, moved to Palm Springs. 
to get my culture shock out of the way, when, uh, and then I started training in Asano, uh, the in Asano Academy. The Jet Center, I went up there to take uh, kickboxing with Benny the Jet Arquitas. Kind of got hooked and then stayed with uh, uh, Guru Dan and Asano and trained with him and, and there, all the different arts there. Uh, I did Wing Chun for about eight years also uh, in Palm Desert uh, and continued in LA. And then I also uh, continued boxing, Muay Thai. Uh, I did Sea Lot. I started with the Gracies in uh, 1986 in the garage with Horian and Oise. Continued with Hickson. Fought in a bare knuckle fight, got kicked out, and then continued with uh, the Machado since then, 1994. And I've been with Higgin ever since, and it's been about 16 years. Um, and I also continued continue with Guru Dan until I eventually moved out of California, or uh, out of Los Angeles to Orange County, California. It's kind of like a different state. Cal uh, Los Angeles is a state within itself. Uh, the only problem I had with LA was for two years in a row, I got voted by People Magazine, the loneliest guy in L.A. And so I just said, you know, this is enough. I want to go a place where I have more friends my age. Not everyone's seeking to have a career in film uh, and will, won't lie to me and actually just wants to be my friend. So Orange County was a place. I moved to Fullerton. So I opened a gym. This is my third gym in Fullerton. And uh, I've got about a 7,000 square foot gym. and. Uh, we teach a mixture of boxing, Thai boxing, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu mixed with Judo and Sambo, catch wrestling, uh, the CSW, which is a combat submission wrestling. It's all no-gi. It's a hybrid system for takedowns and submissions, and it's the whole premise is geared to prep someone for pro fighting, which would be MMA. And uh, we also teach Filipino Kali once a week. Uh, to get the guys uh, accustomed to the weapon and get used to the hand-eye coordination and the speed development and also the uh, reality of a stick and a knife. I left LA, I moved to Orange County, I've been there for eight years. Uh, I've developed a team called uh, Team Archangel, it's a professional fight MMA team. It's, it's kickboxing and MMA and submission wrestling and uh, we have guys competing almost every weekend, uh, either in submission events, kickboxing, or MMA. Uh, I retired, I hadn't fought for about seven years, and then HDNet, Mark Cuban, asked me if I'd be interested to fight on his show. And I said, sure, but I didn't know it was a main event, so he asked me to fight the main event, and I came out of retirement, 2007, and fought the main event. I fought a five-time world Muay Thai champion, and he said he was gonna knock me out, and knock the ring rust off of me, and so I went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him for uh, one and a half minutes, just to, uh, a minute and a half, just to show people that I could actually stand still and box and kickbox. And then, uh, then when he tagged me with an overhand, then I said, okay, it's time to go to the ground. And then it lasted about a, four seconds. And when I took him down, I transitioned right to the arm lock, and then the fight was over. And right after the fight, they recapped, and I watched the fight on the screen, and they said, Hey, give us a recap. This guy goes, kill him, Grandpa! And I went, and this is where I re-retire from fighting once more. Now I just travel all around the United States and uh, Europe, and uh, I teach to Canadians, Australians, Europeaners, and all over the United States. And uh, I do seminars every weekend. I write for four magazines. I've written three books got about 50 DVDs out right now that I've done instructional. Uh, I've, I've coordinated a couple TV shows, uh, Never Back Down with Jaiman Hunzu. I, I worked with him. Uh, I worked on Baywatch and a bunch of other little things doing uh, stunts and got out of that and now I'm a full-time coach and um, my biggest accomplishment uh, lately has been uh, Josh Barnett and Brock Lesnar. Josh, Josh uh, was supposed to fight Fedor, and that got washed. But uh, Brock Lesnar now is the heavyweight champion. I've been with him since day one, and uh, Brock's going to be fighting Shane Carwin coming up, and I'll be training him for about four weeks for that fight.